So tell me, I want to know what you did this time that you didn't, because I'm told you went off the escarpment. Yeah, well, to test the suit, the, the full limits, in other words, the government still wasn't pleased uh, with the fact that, you know, in doing our research, if a bear did attack, that I would be saved or come out of it unscathed. So this markup, uh, the Earth's See, it looked markup, pretty good to me the first time. It know. did, but it wasn't good enough for those. Yes. So what we did was uh, we built another suit, uh, which we had planned to do, and yes. um, redid the test, this time magnifying them to, to uh, how would one say, refute all. Uh -huh. uh, we, uh, we pushed the trucks up to three-ton trucks at 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, and then, of course, we did the a boards. A three-ton truck three ran ton into truck. you at 50 kilometers an hour? Uh, 18 times. <laughs> and then we... Uh, wait, wait, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't laugh. This no, is serious I science. know, but most people look and say, geez, this is a little ludicrous. It was my father's idea with the with, with pickup truck uh, and the bikers with regards to big men. And being an anthropologist, he, uh, uh, he looked at uh, the testings we had uh, originally done. Uh, with uh, normal sized men, you know, 150, 180 pounds, he said the public isn't going to buy it. They're, they're looking at this monstrous grizzly bear and they're looking at a normal sized man hitting you with bats and boards and stuff like that. They're not going to buy it. You have to give them reality. Get that upper body down off, and I feel great. Oh, so that's what she did, eh? I got that, eh? Took a lot, though. I heard somebody banging away, like a woodpecker out there. <laughs> she finally broke. That takes a lot to break that, though, eh? Oh, look at that, eh? Out she went. 